Help support us by supporting our Patreon. We have two tiers. The supporter tier, which basically lets you get access to some of our smaller posts and projects. And the pro tier, which gives you access to our larger posts and projects. And your bot will also be overviewed on our channel. Alright, welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make a ticket command using a new NPM package that I've created. It's called Discord underscore ticket underscore maker, and it's very easy. It makes this whole ticket roll process easy, even if you're like an inexperienced developer. So what you want to do is go npm on Discord underscore ticket underscore maker. Now I'm going to be making these commands for a command handler. However, you also are able to use them inside of an index.js file. I chose how to do that on the Discord underscore. I mean, on the Discord Ticket Maker GitHub page. So I will send that later and probably in the description. But first, let's get started making our first command. Now I'm going to make a new file called server support for this. Command slash server underscore support slash ticket role. .js. This is going to set the ticket role or the support role that's ping every time a new ticket is created. I'm going to paste this in because this is basically what we need to actually, you know, call the npm or we'll initiate it really. Now we're going to make a new module that exports. Module that exports equals name. Uh, we're going to call it ticket role. Description. Set support ticket role. And now you want to run this in an async function. Client message args. Yep, now that you have this done, what you want to do next is you actually want to well make a way to actually get a role. We're going to do control equals sits dot mentions dot roles dot first. This will basically get any role that we mentioned. Well, the first role that we mentioned is going to be the one that set us the ticket role. Now we're going to do ticket dot set role message role. All right, this is the role that we just mentioned. It's set as the ticket role and this I mean I'm not really gonna talk too much about this but you have to put this here it basically initiates the guild because I wanted to depend because of one of the dependencies that I use for this package now we're gonna make another file called ticket command slash server underscore support slash ticket.js this is the file that we're actually going to use to make the ticket. Just copy and paste that in again. And make a new module that exports. Name. It's ticket. Description. Make a support ticket. Now you want to run this in an async function again. Run async. Client message args. Now we're going to set a reason for this. The reason is optional. You don't have to do it, but if you want a reason, you can set it to this. Const reason equals args.join space. This will basically make it so that any statements we say will get separated with a space. And now we're going to do ticket. Dot make a ticket message reason this basically sets the reason in the title of the ticket and this like i said before i won't talk too much about it but it is important to have and i see i made two different service port files let me just change this real quick all right we're going to make the close command now Command slash server underscore support 
slash close.js. And copy and paste this in for the last time. Make a module dot exports. Name close. Close, not lose. I won't really set a description for this one. I'll just get straight into it. Run a sync client message args. We're gonna do. We're now we're gonna get. I mean, make. No, we're gonna make a variable for the channel that we want to close. We're gonna do const channel equal the message dot mentions dot channels dot first. This will get the first mentioned channel that we have. Or like if anybody mentions the channel, I'll show you what that is later. If you don't know, and we're gonna do message dot channel. And this will make it sit so that if our first property or like you know if our first part of a variable isn't true then it won't run. Now we're gonna do ticket dot Close ticket message channel. This will close the ticket that we mentioned. And now what we're gonna do is this a ticket roll at announcements. See, look, it responds that it set the roles to that. We're gonna do a ticket. Look at that. It makes a new role for us. And what we're gonna do, and it even changes announcements. See that? Now we're going to do a close, and it closes. Alright, that has been my video. If you have, yeah, if you run into any trouble with this, make sure you come tell me on my support server.